Hello everybody, welcome back to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel and welcome back to this live stream where we're going to be playing Project Cars we're going to be driving online with subscribers and uh, sponsors and just anyone that cares to join us that manages to get into the server sorry about that microphone Rockus, we've got the C, uh, we've got the game ready on the screen the server is going to be called Game of Muscle Live the password is going to be T and uh, you'll be able to get in and uh, we, we've got it there so get yourselves in F rank is welcome to join we're going to start off I think with a Bathurst race you can't go wrong with a Bathurst race hello people that are joining And I think we'll also be taking a look at the uh, the contemporary sim racing news for today. What's been happening in, in sim racing? Anything could have happened. Uh, you know, it's sim racing. It's an exciting world. And also, welcome to those of you that have uh, spent your money and <laughs> bought yourselves a steering wheel, a VR headset, or anything else along that lines in the Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales. That's better. Hello, Flying Dutchman. Hello, that MK. Hello, Chronox. Hello, Tuna No Crust. Hello, Fez Fox. He's <laughs> cleaning. Hello, Viv D. Hello, Ashik Bapath. Improved sound and rumours of online championship. Yeah, that anything could happen. Tell us what you know. I, I don't know anything. If I did know, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Now, we are going to be driving in two dimensions. Let's just put it to you. <laughs> See, if, if anyone joins at this time, that'd be nice. I'll put it to Minimum Greg because there might be people that are just joining due to just buying the game. And, uh, you know, people might actually join. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Worst case, we'll have to even remove the password. That's when you know it's really bad. Yeah, a patch would be nice. Robert and Guru. No, 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 Guru. He's uh, he's at work. Poor guy. Why are you streaming so early? We've just been uh, our, our schedule has been reverted. <laughs> I'm now an early morning, Boris, uh, and not a late evening, Judy. So well, I mean, well, this has been this is a good. Uh, let's see if anyone joins. If we turn the <laughs> we'll turn the password off, I don't think you can turn the password off once you've launched it. This is clearly. A bad time. Although we, we've streamed at this time before. Has Final Tech already sent you a golden caterum? Well, this is, you know, if people aren't going to join, I'm just going to have to resort to biscuit time. We've got the family circle box here. And, uh, well, this was £4. But I think it's £4 well spent. And uh, on the tail of the Fanatec tail, um, yeah, quite a few people use the link. And from the money we've got from that, I've gone and uh, ordered a streaming PC. So we have a fat box now. And we'll be building it live. I don't think we're going to be able to build it this week. Uh, I'm still waiting for some of the components to arrive. But I think we will... Um, I think we'll be building it probably next week some point. 
We'll live stream that build. And uh, the result of that should be high fidelity streaming Lark. Uh, one would hope. But thanks to uh, everyone that used the fat link, quite a few people did. Try the new Beam MG patch. I'll have to give it a look. Well, I mean, at this rate, no, nobody's alive. This is t this is Monday at one for two p.m. is the worst stream time. Clearly, clearly the worst time to stream. Right, let's do a new server without a password on it. Let's see what if anyone joins. This is interesting. We, we've uh, clearly made a logistical error in our stream time in here. Let's not have a password. Ghost Town Public. Or we could even join. I could join a uh, public server. That'd be funny. I can't even get into my biscuit box. It's a bit anticlimactic. Got us out the wheel. We were too fast. This is what happens. Uh, this is impossible to get into. This is what happens if you. Um, have everything ready to go. Oh, I've broken the biscuit. But I oh, know it's meant to break. There's a little flange on the edge of the biscuit box that you're meant to snap off. Oh, look, we've got Pythos joined the server. It's quite crowded in here, I have to say. Barely enough breathing room. This is like Japan underground at rush time. Ordered the wife an SSD. A new RAM for a dying laptop. That's a, that's an adventurous purchase, Fez Fox. You, you know how to party. Of all people that know how to party, you're one of them. Well, we're going to have to go uh, Renault Clio for, with, with no ranking. It's the only safe car to drive. But I can't alphabet here. Oh, I've got Christmas tree Renaults going on now. So, it'll be interesting to see how much the uh, patch does indeed improve things. So, I've never bought one of these family biscuit boxes before. Family circle. 900 grams of biscuit glory. Three layers of biscuits, I believe. I don't know if it's worth getting one of these biscuit boxes or if you're better off just buying individual. Oh no, you get two two layers of biscuit selection. It's not a bad biscuit selection, you know. You've you've got the classics in here. Oh, there's a the microphone. You've got you've got like chocolate fingers. That's not bad. That's not. I just not like a. It's not like a Cadbury's chocolate finger. It's like their own biscuit one. You've got some shortbread. Again, not not a bad shortbread. It's fairly generic sh as far as shortbreads go. We appear to have a uh, chocolate digestive in here as well. I'm going to touch all these biscuits just so that they're all mine anyway. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> they're all my biscuits. Nobody's allowed them apart from me. Uh, we've got some. We've got a creepy smiley face biscuit. That that just looks like um, it's like something out of a horror film. N you know, that doesn't say to me, that's what I want to dunk in my tea and eat. That says to me, get away, get away now. If you don't leave soon, you're going to be going home in a body bag. That's, uh, that's just disturbing. That's like 1950s disturbing. You know, where they tried to make something friendly for kids, but it ended up being... Rather creepy. Oh, we've got some traditional jammy dodgers here. I believe that's what they're called. Uh, we're going to keep going through the biscuits whilst we wait for more people to join. Mensa GTR. There's an offer. What, of these boxes? Oh, I just got this at Sainsbury's. I got it done. <laughs> I've been, I've been ad. I thought, I, I thought four pounds was reasonable for this many biscuits. What are these? This is like a standard digestive, I guess. These are rather non-standard. 
and more shortbread. Oh, we've got some bourbons in here as well. So it's not a bad mix. I have to say, I think the, the McVitie's Family Circle, 11 biscuits with varieties to enjoy with all the family. Well, I don't have a family, so uh, that's not happening. For some reason, the, the box art has um, a biscuit with a birthday cake on it and a biscuit, the creepy face biscuit, listening to music. Someone thought that was a good idea. I mean, I, you know, when I think biscuit, uh, why, why is he plugged? Why is he plugged his headphones into another biscuit that's got a birthday cake on it? That, that's McVitie's logic right there. That makes absolutely no sense. Not even tangentially. Unbelievable. So, uh, good selection of biscuits. I think we're going to start with the creepy smiley face. The sooner we eat them, the safer I'll feel. And uh, we'll start the server in a minute. Grab one of these little chocolate fingers. Hello, the Falcon. Welcome along. You do get a nice plastic container, but I prefer when they're like the metallic containers myself. Well, let's start this server off. Whoops. Okay. This should be interesting. No safety rating. We've allowed anyone to join. There's not even a password. Hi, Ken Chow. Ken Chi. Ken Chiao. Ken Chiao. Hello, random call sign. Not bad. Quite a lot of salt in these biscuits. That's a nice thing with um, Cadbury's chocolate fingers. They're quite a soft shortbread type biscuit in them. There's more chocolate on them than biscuit. Hi, Thaisons. Get ready for titwinkling. I know this is going to be an epic titwinkle. It's going to be a 2D tip wrinkle. Oh. Managed to stall the car there. Pedals are all operational. Although this face is creepy, it tastes nice. Hey, James Tumulty. Crime. Oh. I think the patch is coming next week. What are you writing your lab report on, Mr. Dedoosworth? Numerical methods. Wow, that sounds exciting. <laughs> oh, of all things that could be exciting that probably aren't. Oh, I need to get a... Uh, to grab something. Pretty dull. <laughs> I mean, maybe if you're into that, maybe it's, for some people, it probably is super exciting. 
Oh dear. Okay. I was wondering, there was a weird smell in my room and I was thinking, what is that? And uh, then, I, then I remembered I've lit a uh, Yankee candle. <laughs> I don't even know what it smells of. It smells nice, but it's weird. Babysitting grandson? Just sellotape your grandson to the sim rig. Put them on the steering wheel, they'll fall asleep. If, oh God. If they don't fall asleep through just the relaxating sound of uh, relaxating, I've invented a word there, the relaxing sound of a Clio Cup car engine. If they don't fall asleep from that, they'll fall asleep from the uh, centrifugal force making them unconscious from the steering wheel. So, you know, it's win-win if you want some silence. Hi, Tom Skolski. There we go, service filling up. This is... <laughs> Should have just titled this stream Game of Muscle Disaster Zone. Cracking wood flavour. I don't have one of them. What I did is bought a uh, a box. A box of them. Like a sample box. I don't think they had anything too crazy in the sample box. They're all sort of bog standard ones. Project Cars 2 has not been updated yet. Has the um, when does the GT Sport patch come out? Is it already rolled out? To be honest, GT Sport is going to need more than a patch to fix it because the fund the fundamental driving in it's appalling. You know, it's um, I mean it's all right. It's, it's obviously it's designed around a gamepad, you see. So play it with the steering wheel. Probably better to play it with the steering wheel, but you know. It's uh, it's got it's got interesting handling GT Sport. That's that's what I would call it interesting <laughs> interesting handling. Um, I think it needs a lot of tracks, doesn't it? And a single player. I don't think they've got any intention to do that. They're going to have offline saving. That's about it. He's two and a half old and he loves to drive the sim rig. There you go. I had two. Oh, sorry. At two and a half, oh, I've <laughs> just wrestled that guy off the track. At two and a half, you can uh, make them think they're playing a game with not having anything plugged in. You, they, you know, give them a game controller whilst you drive, and they'll be happy. And you'll be like, "Oh, you're doing really well," and they'll they'll take all that feedback in. They'll love it. It's a nice thing with two-year-olds. They're basically they're basically just very stupid people. Small, very s stupid, small, and uh, somewhat drunk behaving people. Bought, G bought GT Sport on sale just for the banter. Nice. I, I honestly, I haven't played it since uh, I, when it first came out. I've, I've had no. I've not even touched the PlayStation. I played well. I played Wipeout a few times, but I literally like four times. <laughs> so PlayStation's not getting much use. Total disaster. We'll have to give GT Sport another shot. I've um. I have been playing Forza 7 a bit, just uh, I want to put a good sort of few hours into it. Mind you, I mean, I've, I've mostly been testing a bunch of games with this uh, 1080 uh, Ti graphics card and with different settings and the Rift and the Vive and getting all that done, recording footage for the review. Mike McLaren. Uh, how long does it take to rank up? I'm not sure. Because, um, well, most of our servers, we, when we run them, we do them on sort of D rank. So you don't have to be. You know. You don't have to be amazingly skilled to get into them or amazingly safe. Oh, there's a car. Two minutes left here to get a lap in, so uh, yeah. But I, I don't think it'd take too long to get to D rank if you if you did rank up. But I'd, I'd buy Project Cars too because you want to play it. I'm really interested in what the patch is like. I hope they've done a, a really super glorious patch and not just a sort of 
There, it's a patch. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the project uh, project cars, the um, race room, racing experience. It's gonna be really interesting to see what the uh, additional cars and stuff that they're releasing are gonna be like. Try and get one lap in here. It's not terrible. Currently, we're in third. It's a two I guess his own tablet. To be honest though, I mean tablets are designed for people that don't have any brain cells, so Oh dear. I just uh took that guy out, sorry. Well we qualified in third so far, that's not bad. It's a good start. I'm just driving into everyone here. It's getting a bit packed this server. We've got 26 cars in here now. Oh dear. <laughs> Bashy Bollards out in full force. Time for another biscuit, I think, before we go to the race. This is full. I guess because as soon as we had like five people, the uh, gets moves up on the uh, server list because people want to join it. Is it tea time? Hello, Gert God. It's tea and biscuit time. We were just we reviewed the uh, the uh, family club biscuit box. Family circle. What is a family circle? You don't form a circle around the biscuit box, do you? I mean. Your average family is like two kids, two adults. You can't make a circle with four people. So that doesn't make any sense. I, I, I feel they really haven't thought about the branding. On top of the creepy face with the uh, headphones plugged into a biscuit, which makes no sense, calling it family circle, the box isn't even a circle. The box is square. So where they're getting the word circle from, I'm not quite sure. I think McVitie's really need to uh, rethink their strategy here. They, they've really made a big mistake well there's a car in front of us driving into a wall fantastic not as big a mistake as formula one with their new logo which is horrendous but you know someone made good money out of that well done well done graphic designers of the new logo that looks pants at least you made some money from it TN Strikerman <coughs> choking on my biscuit. Hello, TN Strikerman. I tried the PC demo and the force feedback physics a lot better for Project Cars 2, for sure. I, I wouldn't be playing Project Cars 2 if it was the same as Project Cars 1. Well, we're in third. Dan MC27 in first, Mr. Charlie in second. I did not, Ayrton uh, Key. We're in the trees here. Nice and easy. Well, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> this is going to be pure bashy bollard hardcore race. I don't, Jeff Bieber, no. Hi, Robster. Well, you could, um, that MKK, you could use your 10-foot pole to leap over a canal like the Dutch do.
Hello, Fosario. Uh, the jammy dodgers are nice. I could eat a whole packet of jammy dodgers. They're really good. Yeah, so far the biscuits I've had from this biscuit box are more than acceptable. Four pounds, well spent. Highly recommend the strangely branded nonsensical family circle by McVitie's. Well done, McVitie's. Making up for your thins. Those were a disaster. They'll be in the pound shop store shelves. Oh, here we go. Twinings away. Sun is uh, in the sky at Brands. Here we go. <laughs> I think I might have almost jumped the start there. Get ready. So there's no... I've not put any safety rating on this, so this is going to be total carnage. The, uh, well, the graphics are actually worse in Project Cars 2 compared to Project Cars 1. Because they've ha they had to um, make some different choices in order to get the real track working as to how they have, you know, that's more dynamic. But, uh, I. Whoops, sorry. At no point playing Project Cars 2 have I gone, oh, that looks horrible. Uh, the only thing, actually, the only thing visually that I think looks particularly off in Project Cars 2 is the. Um, the tree leaves are slightly big. It's like we've got palm leaves on all the trees. Yellow Lipton. I need to try some Lipton tea, because it's got a Kermit the Frog advert, and I like Kermit the Frog. So, obviously, it's only logical to assume that Lipton tea will be nice, because I can't remember the last time I've had a Lipton tea. But I mean, my family's been drinking Twining's tea for the last, literally, the last 60 years or so. I mean, I know my grandparents, my grandma's 93, she drinks Twining's tea. I don't know when she started, I assume from when she was a kid. So, uh, maybe even maybe even over 90 years we've been drinking Twining's tea. So I can't, I, you know, I'd feel guilty. It's, it's a tradition. <laughs> No Tetleys, no, we don't have Tetleys, don't be ridiculous. That's, don't be don't be absurd. Tetleys taste like you like you're licking an ironing board. Hi Jelly D. Got your rift. Nice. It's pretty great. Make sure you get Echo Arena for free. Make sure you get Pavlov. Make sure you get what else is there to get? Onwards is really good. Echo Arena, Pavlov, onwards, I'm gonna bloody slow down bollocks. What else? Uh, car behind us here. There's a couple of games that are really good. Oh, Doom 3 v uh, VFR comes out on the 1st of December. Uh, that's on Steam only, but I would have thought, you know, you can use Steam VR with the Rift. I don't know how well it'll work out of the box, because obviously Bethesda have a bit of... Uh, bit of uh, beef with uh, Oculus <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see but that looks like it's going to be a really good game. Hi Ricky Bosch Ricky Bosch Racing come along. Guys Ricky Bosch has a YouTube channel. If you like driving sims give him a give him a subscribe let him know uh, you appreciate him putting videos out it can be a lonely world on YouTube at times give him a Give him a tyre in the face. <laughs> Give him a tyre wall. Give him a wave, a wave a blue flag at him. A yellow flag. Give him a DNF. I am early, uh, Cravener Pololi. I've been. Uh, I woke up at 2 a.m. this morning. Actually, no, I woke up about 3 a.m. and uh, been working on the 1080 Ti review most of the day. Then I then I went to the shops for about two hours to get some shopping in some uh, get some biscuits and uh, yeah yeah they're doing a they're, they're doing that VR version of it aren't they I checked out that um, Blade Runner game today it's a promotional game I think it's totally free 
that's worth taking a look at. It's interesting because they've used like um, real-time scanning of the actors' faces, and like 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 how LA Noir is, but it's more of a um, it's a different technique. Um, but it's just interesting to look at. It's, the gameplay is rubbish in it, but it's really short. Uh, but te technologically, that's what I'm trying to say. Technologically, it's quite interesting and free, so definitely worth checking out. Hang on, we found ourselves in third place here. I need to get this position back. Ah, oh, Jeff Bieber. Well, that was always my worry with the... Um, Microsoft headsets and like, like with the Samsung Odyssey as I was saying to other people I would only expect the Rift and the Vive to particularly work well with PC games because they're the only headsets which were really designed for that whereas the Microsoft headset should work fine with you know the Microsoft uh, Windows VR stuff our first place has been taken out by Matt Marker Carnage and that puts us into second we might take a victory home here. This is this is what we need. Uh, this is feels like home. Yeah, that'd be interesting. It, how well it runs with AC because Project Cars 2 is really heavy. Like even on the 1080 Ti, even if I turn the graphics down, I often find uh, it still goes into uh, reprojection or asynchronous reprojection. Thanks, Robert. <laughs> you cheated yourself some crisp bands. Look at this, there's some crashing going on here. Oh, I've had to take a dodgy line through that to avoid the crasher. Oh, these guys trying to take us out. So, as I say, what I've done is... Um, with all the people that have used our, our FAP link and have fapped off with us, I've put that money that we generated from that, um, or supposedly generated, going by statistics. <laughs> it's hard to know. In, often there's like a two month delay when you do affiliate stuff. But I've put the money that we're supposedly making from that into a new streaming FAP box computer, courtesy of Fanatec and courtesy of uh, you guys all ordering. I, f I felt it was uh, befitting to, uh, you know, put that put that money back into, uh, st you know, the quality, the <laughs> YouTube channel quality, seeing as I wasn't expecting anything. You know, for the end of this year, I didn't have Fanatec affiliates planned in my budget or anything. So, uh, yeah, awesome. And it, literally like 60 people have uh, used our Fanatec link, which is insane. Also what's insane is the amount of steering wheels people have bought. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's just crazy. Hi, uh, Pablo. Sorry if I'm missing chat messages here, I was concentrating on the car. Liquid, I didn't, I've, I've tried to budget it, so what I've ended up getting for the fat box, they said will be, um, I've been building it next week, or over the weekend or next week, and I'll, I'll live stream it. The building. Oh dear, <laughs> just trying to avoid this guy. Yeah, we'll live stream the uh, building, but what we've gone with is a uh, AMD 5 1600, just because I got a good uh, price on it. And uh, an, <laughs> an ass rock motherboard because I like to rock my ass in the fat box. And eight gigabytes of RAM, bog standard hard drive. I don't even bother with an SSD because as you know, this is obviously just going to be a box for streaming and uh, storing video on. So I'm, I'm, you know, it doesn't need to load anything quickly. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's a nice system. I'm missing the chat messages, guys. Sorry. How much is a direct drive wheel? It depends which one you go for. The one I'm using, Simplicity direct drive wheel, is around about £900. But you also have to buy your own steering wheel for that, like the rim. So you're talking another 
60 to 100 well 60 to whatever you want to spend uh, and then you need like a button box or if you've got a shift down you, you, you know you don't need one a button box for it I did I know I expected people to fat but I wasn't expecting 60 plus people to use our link you know I, I'd have been happy with like well, any, I'd be happy with anyone using the link to be honest <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I was I was not expecting sixty plus people to be buying steering wheels, shifters, and uh, pedals. But I'm, as I say, I'm just really grateful for it, so, and uh, I'm re I really hope that the uh, the Streambox PC. I hope the end result is that we do end up with higher quality streams. I can turn the game graphics up higher. Alright, let's try and pick this guy on the last corner. Oh! <laughs> Tried. I think that's it. Let's try and flip it on the finish line. Oh! We... <laughs> yes, yeah, so hopefully we can have higher quality streams. Uh, I'll be able to run the games at higher quality. Steering wheel wheels are going in and tied out there. And uh, I think it'll be good. Yeah, ho hopefully it all works out. Should be able to set up additional webcams. I've run out of USB ports on this computer. I mean, I'm running a 12 port USB hub and a 4 port USB hub. And uh, they're all. <laughs> and the, the uh, motherboard has on it 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 USB ports on it. So I've, I've literally got like 25. 30 USB devices and uh, I've had to balance them across the different USB buses uh, due to the bandwidth limitations of what you've got on each USB bus so <laughs> yeah so uh, total nightmare so hopefully the, the stream PC I can put the webcam on that and everything the microphone and the you know it, it offloads a lot from this computer and uh, hopefully as well we'll be able to record in uh, we'll be able to record a feed without any of the video overlay or anything 1080p 60 fps and have the stream going out as it is now and have a recording of the stream and the end result is i'll have loads of b-roll footage from when we do races that i can then do uh, when i do videos that don't require uh you know like me and the sim rig talking whilst i'm playing uh, so you know it should, it should work out really well don't your hubs give up a few weeks back where you've didn't your hubs give up a few weeks back where your force feedback went during a steam? I don't think that was the hubs. Uh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Well done, Mr. Charlie, for winning. I came second. Chell Fire third. Well done. Dan MC fourth. Pickle Rick fifth. Nice driving, guys. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, the, the, actually, one of the things that has come down, uh, the, the crucial SSD drives seem to be on sale for, for Cyber Monday. Um, it's only like £10, £15 pounds you save, but you know, if you were in the market for an SSD or you're looking for one additional SSD, for example, to put your apps on rather than, <laughs> rather than having to worry about filling up your C drive, um, that's probably one of the best things to buy. Spontaneously... I think the uh, the Black Friday sales have been a bit bit of a dud this year. Nothing super exciting. Hi, Lu Lucas and Zentalis. Why is it doing a fifty second countdown? Oh, I guess because people are normally uh, already up by default. It's time for another biscuit, I think. Oh yeah, the G the G twenty nine. Yeah, I mean that that what I did in that in that video, the last video we put up. G twenty nine, the Fanatec shirt sales. To be honest, the Fanatec sales they should have they should always be selling their stuff at that price, you know. And I think Fanatec would probably, on balance, get more sales. I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe they know that on the Black Friday they'll get they get so many orders. And uh, having the higher price gives the perception that you know it, it pushes people over the edge to to buy at that point. So uh, 
Yeah, it's, it's hard to say really, but uh, it'd be nice if Anatech stuff was a little bit cheaper because a lot of their stuff's really expensive. I mean, it, they've always provided the sort of mid to high end price points for the sim gear stuff, but back back in the day, the Club Sport V2 and V1 pedals, for example, I think the V1s were £150 and the V2s, when I bought them, were like 230 which is still a lot for, for a game controller, but a very reasonable price. What you got with the two with the um, V2s, that was a really good... I think it was good value for money relative to other game controllers. Whereas the V3s, though they're nicer pedals, and I, I see how they've, they've set them up in a way that's a lot closer to like these PT1s or you know Pro pedals, the way the dampener works and everything. It's the price of them is so high. It's like you know, it's it's much more of a commitment. But uh, I mean, it's nice kit, and I guess it's disposable income that <laughs> people are spending. But it's it's uh, the the hard thing is for people that are maybe getting into sim racing and want some nice kit, and it's a lot of money. Like not everybody. As a lot of disposable income, and not not everybody gets sent stuff to review. So uh, I definitely like it when companies offer stuff at cheaper prices. I wish you could get a low interest plan for the Oculus Rift 1080. <laughs> well, that'd be really stupid to buy that sort of stuff on a credit card because it's it's gone. By the time you'd have paid it off, it'd be half its value. Like the only time it makes sense to use like a low interest card or, or buy something like that is when you um, when the item's not going to lose its value. Like the Oculus Rift is literally half its, half the price from when it first came out. Hang on a minute. Why is that guy going We're at Donington? Why is that guy going there we go. Someone's got lost in the pit. It's not letting me move. Go back again. What's going on? Oh, it's because. There we go. I don't have any disposable income since I went mad on the Rift. Well, the Rift's a good purchase. I, I, I bought, I bought both the Rift and the Vive with my own money. Um, when they came out, so <laughs> I know I know the pain, and I couldn't afford them when I got them. Hi, Stuart. Stupid bug. Oh yeah. Well, we've we've got we went in the pits, came back out. We're all good. Oh, I can't stop eating these biscuits. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I, I would recommend using is 0% interest credit cards, but typically, you know, it's best just to, if for anything that's not going to increase in value or at worst hold its value sort of at a rate of inflation, there's no, you really shouldn't buy, like, you shouldn't buy toys with a credit card. Other than if you, other than if you pay it off every month and you're using the credit card as a um, security. Stuart, thanks for saying hi. Makes me feel as if I've got a friend. Oh dear. If I don't like the rift, I'm blaming you. I think it's really good. I, I still got the. Um, I still have both the Rift and the Vive. <clears throat> I tend to use the Rift more when I'm sim racing than the Vive. Um, Pavlov as well. Onwards, I, I mean, onwards is horrific. I was playing against um, AI recently. I mean, I did it. Oh, that's the clutch, not the brake. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I streamed it a while back last week, but yesterday I was doing some more testing with Onwards uh, against AI, and just being on your own, trying to take out all the AI out of a map, 
and they run at you when you when you start shooting they know where you are they start coming at you it's horrific yeah I, I, I find for for racing and uh, flight simulators as well I mean that's the thing now if you buy rift now there's good support in a bunch of racing sims so you've got most most racing sims you can play in VR really nicely a lot of the flight sims have VR support X-Plane 11 you can do it with fly inside X-Plane 11 but they're bringing um, they're going to have native VR support in the next six months or so I mean they haven't set a date on it but that's the time frame that would seem likely to me and uh, fly inside also works with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator and you've got DCS IL2, Battle of Stalingrad, which we're, I'm actually in the process of testing that. But you do need a fast computer though, that's the only real downside. After your night shift has started, won't be able to unbox it till Tuesday, oh no. <laughs> that's the worst, when you know that something's arriving but you can't, you know. <laughs> that's really frustrating. I'd rather not order something uh, than have that frustration. It's like I either buy, buy stuff, that's why I like Amazon Prime because you buy it in the evening and you know it's going to arrive the next day. Also I'm really fortunate that I work from uh, home so I tend to not miss the postman. Well actually I missed the postman today and the next door neighbours had to, uh, that's not the line through there. Oh dear, I made a mess of that. Oh, faster to just go into the pits here. Go, go, go. <laughs> is that Fanatec? Garagaj. Uh, this is the thing with Fanatec that, that I. The two things with Fanatec, I mean, they really annoy me. It's their. Because the, the pricing of stuff is, you know, the price is the price, so that's whatever. And that's the same thing with iRacing, you know, iRacing is expensive, but the price is the price, so you can, you've got a choice as a consumer. Is that a price you agree with? If you don't, don't buy it. But where Fanatec are really annoying with, the, with this stuff is that the table clamps, in my view, are separate. And it's not necessarily immediately apparent that it's a separate. Or with this shifter, for example, you need a USB dongle that's separate to get it to work unless you've got a Fanatec wheelbase but that's not immediately obvious so much so when they sent me this to review they didn't send me one and then I had to wait a bit longer to, to get one so e even they are forgetting <laughs> so um, you know stuff like that I think Fanatec uh, that's the one thing I think they should really I, I would hope they could work on as a company because the actual products are, are, seem really nice Oh, well, the uh, thing with the SHH, uh, Lucas, is more, you know, that's obviously like a, a very small company custom doing it, so it's, it's a little bit of a different situation, but yeah. That's the other side of it. If you do custom stuff, you kind of have to wait for people to print things and make things. Oh, it's a hard life living in the first world country, for sure. You know, you don't get your table adapter. You don't, you know, there's, there's other people... I didn't get malaria this month, woo! And we're like, I can't get my, get my toy joystick to work, oh! But yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Patience, there you go. You just have to go outside for a jog, do something else. Have multiple hobbies. Suffering's all relative. You say that, I mean, it is on a on a basic psychological level, but if I was to, you know, if I was to uh, remove your arms, I'm pretty sure you'd you would rather, you know, you you would rather not have your arms removed versus fingers, or you know, that, you know, there, there's different. I think there are still different levels of suffering, even though. 
it is relative and subjective. I mean, I, I think I'd rather have a leg amputated than my penis, for sure. But I mean, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. These, these are the things that are important to have calculated in case that evil genie comes out of the uh, the lantern and, uh, and asks for a wish, and you know, he you, you, you tricks you. No, please don't block me. This is our last chance. Last chance saloon. Thank you. That was nice. Thanks for pulling over. Pick up back plate from Maplins. I tell you what, though. People that have got... Um, uh, it's not patch day, sheer Samuels. People that have got 3D printers themselves or are good at DIY, you know, they don't, they don't have to wait for these things because they, they can do it themselves. Leg gets amputated, they just make a wood well, they make a 3D printed one, they're sorted. Oh, I've driven slower. Looks like we're gonna be starting next place here. There's a there's meant to be a big patch Rob 230. Um soon. And, and I would it's I would think next week sometime. I've just cut that. And I've just cut that. It's not gonna work. Oh dear, this Ikea glass doesn't hold the temperature in the tea for long enough, I need to buy one of those big, a giant, I need to buy a Game of Muscle mug, get one sorted. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're going to release it with DLC, or if they're doing the patch set. But I would have thought they would release it with the DLC to make a, you know, make, make a thing of it. Mr. Charlie's the new Tom the dentist here. Daytime, he's the daytime practice, the daytime pr practitioner. That's the word we're looking for. Dominic in second, Gunther in third, Electro Monkey four, Steve J fifth. Let's see how this goes. Max Coach, real clear racing driver, once asked me online for a copy of Brands Hatch for R Factor Two so he could practice ahead of racing. Ah, nice, nice story, maniac. You, did you send him? Uh, he purposely sent him a version that was slightly off. <laughs> Just to... And he's turned left! What's he doing? <laughs> oh, oh, alert from the simulator. I'm going to brew myself some chamomile and get a couple of biscuits after seeing you munching away. Nabil Ilman. Yeah, I need to stop eating because it's going to be tea time soon. That's the problem with biscuits. You, you can just eat them all day long and you don't want to eat any food. And actually, I actually put on loads of weight. Back in the day from eating biscuits, I have to calm down. You know what I'm like when I'm streaming, just munching constantly. Biscuits are so Moorish. I think we're having a curry tonight. As well, so that'd be good. Get you ready up in a minute. I mean, I highly recommend this uh, McVitie's Family Circle, though, with twine. Well, I'm not drinking twinings at the moment. I'm drinking filthy, add a little red label, but I highly recommend it. It's ready up. Clear cup. Dono Park. Look at that. Casking by you, Jenny. Really nice job that he's done there. Bit of a slow start. Kind of on our right. Try and not hit anyone here. There we go. Seventh place, guys. We're back at home. It is real. This is where I like to be. 
the you know the most glorious position on the racetrack, the most sexually arousing. Drivers that are in seventh typically have to fend off gorgeous women. I mean, right now there's fan mail coming at me. My inbox is literally being destroyed as we talk from uh, all the hot la ladies watching the stream going, oh, ha, ha, game of muscle. How do you manage to get into seventh place? And how do you do it so attractively? Uh, you know, every time I'm in seventh. Because, as I say, it's just, it's just, it's just the uh, upper echelon of societal positions. <laughs> Robster. Yeah, if you, if you want to keep up to date on sim racing news, a good place is uh, Reddit and the sim racing subreddit. If you go onto reddit.com, and if you don't know about Reddit, I've just ruined your life, so apologies there. But if you go on Reddit and you type in, uh, in the search, type in sim racing and how to join sim racing subreddit, that's a really good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Whoops. That was a bit aggressive. Touch, a touch, um, touch high on the aggressively. But that was that was a pure bashy bollard overtake. <laughs> totally, totally ramshackled in there. He's got a game of muscle in his door. Yeah, one way to overtake, I find, is to uh, hospitalise your opponents. And if you're going to hospitalise someone, you need to make sure you hospitalise them good and hard. <laughs> oh, he's doing Tokyo drifting. This guy, Bedrock Zoo. Bit slow. I'm gonna get past him. Hi, wagon attack. Welcome back. Any moment now, he's gonna type boobs in chat. Mate, I could chop that as I was born not being able to smell just about anything, and then tell me I should affect my ability to taste. I don't know what what is going on in the chat room here. Oh, you don't know it. Oh dear. Well, I see. You, at least you, you could just eat flour and you'd be perfectly happy. There's always a silver lining. You could probably eat, you could probably drink PG tips and you'd think this is a nice cup of tea. <laughs> you'd be like, oh, this is a fantastic cup of tea. But even you could even have a cup of Yorkshire tea, and you could probably put sugar in it as well, and you'd be like, oh, this is a really nice cup of tea. So you know. Silver lining. We're stuck in uh, sixth place here. Halfway through the race almost. I think we can push up. We get a little bit of a gap here. This guy's breaking. Uh, he's breaking too uh, early. We're not. He's not carrying enough speed. So here we go. We should. Uh, silver twining. Exactly. I need to con contact twinings. Did you see on my Twitter? If you haven't, guys, follow us on Twitter. I can't remember what our Twitter page is called. So I'll give the link's in the description. Follow us on Twitter because we don't have many Twitter subscribers. But uh, they sell boxes of like 2,200 Twinings tea bags for £33. So I'm, uh, I'm going to probably get one of them. Because at the moment, 200 uh, boxes of 200 Twinings costs. Um, Six pounds now. It's gone up in price. Here we go. We're on the back of this uh, convoy. Can't see the chat for a second. We're gonna get a good run through here. Only thirty. Yeah, for two thousand two hundred tea bags, Jelly D. That's a lot of tea. I mean, say you have, say you have like. I mean, I guess I have about six cups of tea a day. Maybe more. Maybe ten cups of tea a day. You know, that'll last you a little bit. I do, uh, I do drink coffee as well. I, I have both tea and coffee. I have to be careful with coffee because um, I drink too much when I do because I drink it like tea, so I end up drinking like five pints. I think there's a limit to how much is good for you before your brain is literally just a, a caffeine sponge. And I noticed a while back I was drinking too much coffee because my eyelids were twitching. <laughs> I thought, oh, I think I'll go back to drinking tea. Look at 
this. Nice driving, guys. I, I also find um, okay, clear. coffee good. tends to give, like, makes me feel happier after drinking it. I sort of gives you an energy boost. Whereas tea makes me feel relaxed. So, you know. I guess you can use them for, for, for what you require. I, tend, I don't feel relaxed after a cup of coffee, that's for sure. <laughs> it's like I do, I do go to the bathroom rather a lot. I should do what Bear Grylls does, just, you know, just recycle the urine. Save money on the tea bags. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy God. Fantastic. I've got to just uh, smash this one. Oh, well. <laughs> it happens. We'll resume with no window. <laughs> oh, dear. Thought I'd test the tire wall. I think that might have been partly net code. Of course we're in seventh. <laughs> it's where you want to be. Do you drink energy drinks? No, I don't. I don't like drinks with sugar in. I try and avoid uh, sugar. No, I don't think sugar's bad though. But I, I, you know, I try and just try to avoid consuming the calories in, sh uh, in sugary drinks because you don't realise that you're. Um, you don't realise you're having sugar. Oh, here we go. Some places back. Knit the needle. Whoa. <laughs> Thread the needle. Knit the needle is probably not the right saying. That's a Murray Walkerism, probably. <laughs> Who's the tit? I think, uh, in fairness to the guy, I think it was more a case of... Um, it's easy for them to get stuck to your car. Well, yeah, that, I mean, that's just I don't have a, I don't have a problem with sugar, per se. For example, I'll have jam on sandwiches, and, uh, you know, bread's got quite a lot of sugar in it, and, uh, well, white bread does, uh, and biscuits. It's more, you know, if I'm going to consume sugar, I, I don't, I don't want it in a drink. I, I like it in a, like a pudding or a biscuit or something. Can't race, it's undrivable, so many idiots. Wombat Warrior, you just have to right channel the Massey Mollard. Right Get the spotter on. Right We're doing alright, we've only been killed once. We're still in the top ten. You get on the radio to Charlie. He'll sort you out. You just have to quality in the top ten. Yeah, that's the other thing. If you if you don't have a lot of sugar, you notice the sweetness of things. So, for example, um, I don't, why are we talking about this? I don't know. <laughs> why not? But uh, with with porridge, for example, if you stop putting sugar in your porridge or your tea, you notice uh, you, you can taste the porridge a lot better without sugar in it, like the actual taste of the porridge. And porridge isn't unsweet. But I, I used to put honey in my porridge, and now I just don't I just put some like uh, black currants, and that's and that sweetens it up fine. It's a good uh, way of doing it. So with tea, you know, milk's got quite a lot of sugar in it. So if you get used to not putting spoons full of sugars in stuff, you can uh, you can appreciate the uh, sh sugars that are sort of more subtly there. You just put milk in your in your coffee. Yeah, I, I I used to not be able to drink coffee without sugar, but now I don't. <laughs> this is really great fun. Fourth place, we're back up again. We, it looks like we've hit a child. It looks like we've gone through a uh, lollipop lady stop. Was reading the chat room and uh, ran over a few children and they smashed the windscreen. 
Oh, thank you, Manek618. Thanks for donating. Really appreciate that. In celebration of your donation, I'm going to try by flipping my car over the start finish line. Here we go. Get ready for this. Oh! Oh, the camera missed it. Yeah, thank you, uh, Manic618, for your donation. Really appreciate that. Thanks for your tea bags. <laughs> That's great. Oh, dear. I like sugar on my raisin brand cereal. What's wrong with you? What's the clicking noise? Uh, is it the microphone that's clicking or is it with the car? Is it this? I don't know. Throttle, throttle, throttle! Is it this noise? This? Is that, is that what you're on about? It's the, uh, the shifters. It's just the shifter. <laughs> Hi, uh, the racing cookies. Hello, everyone else that's joined us in the meantime. It's, it's my brain slowly breaking. Mr. Charlie won. Well done. RF, F, R, F, R, Manor, 12 in second. Dominic, third. We came fourth there. That's not bad, considering we got we ran over a child and ended up in the tire wall. Nice driving, everybody. These clear cups are a good choice for totally random servers. I think we should do clear. No, that'd be terrible. I'm gonna do clear cup at um, Australian Monaco, but uh, that's a bad idea because it's you know. <laughs> Laguna Seca Cleo Cup could be fun. That's ridiculous. Never done that. That's a good idea. <laughs> totally normal. We should do Cleo Cup at the oval track. Oh dear. Laguna Seca Cleo Cup. Let's have it sunny. Let's, be, let's brighten, it, brighten it up, boys. Start in the dark. Nice. Hi again, Muscle. Where you been? Uh, well, from about Thursday to Sunday, I've had uh, I've, I've, my sleep patterns been totally ruined. I've had chronic insomnia, and we've also been I've, I've been getting footage and testing loads of games with this 1080 Ti with different VR headsets. So uh, it's not really worked out for the streaming, but we are indeed back. And we're good. Do you plan on something like Sean? Yeah, what what did Sean... I don't know what Sean did. Drive really bad and blame it on the set. But that's that's what you're meant to do as a driver, Stu. That's what I do. All, all pro drivers blame the setup. I mean, it's the first thing that you do. You, you can look at it like this. You can, you can go through... You can blame yourself. Or... Or you can blame your steering wheel, your pedals, the car setup, the simulator, the tyre pressure. That's part of the car setup, of course. Your computer being too slow, your monitor, um, your gear stick. There's, you know, other people in the server, the game that you're playing, the the lag. Uh, you know, there's, there's other things to blame. Right? Rather than looking at yourself first, it's important to look at everything external to yourself... And never look at yourself. That's that's what I like to bring to the world. I call it the uh, I call it the Donald Trump technique of sim racing, and I think it's I think it's a successful one. It gets you to you can become the uh, the president through this method. So I definitely recommend it. Totally fantastic way to do things. Wombat Warrior Hun, welcome. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Why have we got windscreen wipers on? I don't know. Oh no, we don't have which case the car. We just got we got Darren Brown there. It was the car that was ghosted through. He's had his windscreen wipers on. I thought it was ours. And we had two going. That's what I was like, what is this magic? Uh 
Um, did I pitch the good Black Friday deals? No, apart from this uh, stream PC, but as I say, uh, that's that's uh, thanks to you guys. Well, thanks to any of you that used our fat link. Uh, as I say, we got we spent that money on a uh, streaming PC, uh, but we got we got the Ryzen i7 i7 the Ryzen 5 1600 uh, for 158 pounds instead of 170 or whatever it is going for on those sites. That, that was the only thing we really got that was reduced. Those true pez boy on the. Uh, We did all right. We got we only, like I said we only hit one school child last race. I've tried Quake 2 VR for some time. Walking does not work that good with the Vive controllers. Yeah, actually, I think you're right. You know, that, that's one of the things I found with the Rift controller is having the analog stick definitely helps a lot for those kind of games where you're doing classic walking. You do get used to it though. Having played, uh, I, I did play Pavlov quite a lot with the Steam controller and onwards. You do get used to it, and on onwards and Pavlov use the point thing to walk as well. So it's not like a you just push on the D-pad and then you point with your hand the direction you want to go. I'm reading the chat room and driving into Tire Wars. Yeah, I know. I, I don't like the touch pads really. I can see some advantages to them, but on balance. Analog stick is is really good because it lets you do it lets you do a lot of stuff with other games, and it's it's definitive. It, it's like you know when you're pushing analog stick up, down, left, right, and how much. So yeah, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of the touchpad. You can you do kind of get used to them, and there are certain advantages to them. But yeah, on balance, I think analog stick is better. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I've not. You, there might be a version of the. And it might be in Doom. It might be in Doom Three VR mod that has the um, has the um, the touchpad set up different, like Pavlov. Shia Samuels, <laughs> thank you. I don't know. I don't. I don't find myself particularly funny, but uh, I'm glad other people, or some some other people, do. Plenty of people that are being dropped on the heads as babies. We're, we're, this is not going to be a fast lap. What's the crack? What's the crack on the next patch? Nobody knows yet. There's rumours. Ah, <laughs> there be rumours. You can't play the demo if you've got the full game. I looked into it because I, I, I wanted to check it out just to see what it's like. But uh, I guess I could set up another Steam account, but I, I can be bothered. Ask a gargage, gargage. He he knows. <laughs> he knows. He knows what's going on with the patch. He won't tell anything. I mean, that's the thing. Like I said, if if I did know, I wouldn't be able to say. That's the worst thing when you, if you do get told something, or you say you have to say you sign an NDA, or you just you know you just don't say something because uh, it's not been announced yet. It's in many ways it's worse knowing something and not being able to say than to just not know. What if cockpit is always the best solution if you have the space? Uh. Yeah, if you can get a sim rig, absolutely fantastic. Get a K2 cockpit. <laughs> we should have the new one to review soon, I'm not sure when it's arriving. That'd be nice. 
uh, why in this game when I locked up, run it as a uh, full screen windowed rather than full screen. Uh, if you've got Windows 10, that shouldn't really affect performance. And uh, a lot of games seem to work better than that. Uh, that. A lot of games seem to work better doing that. Obviously, you shouldn't have to do that. And I'm sure the patch will address that. I'd, ho I ho I'd hope it would. But yeah, run the game full screen windowed and do that by in the launch parameters. Uh, put dash windowed uh, dash borderless. If you if you Google how to how to run Project Cars 2 full uh, windowed borderless, there, there will be someone that ex explains it. There's a Steam post that'll explain it, and uh, then you'll be able to alt tab perfectly fine. Uh, I haven't Stuart no. So hopefully that helps you, uh, Sim1 Cafoni. Uh, shifter pattern matching issue. You, you um, are you using it with a USB controller? You plugged it into a wheel. What you need to, uh, I assume it's not going into seventh gear or it's only doing a couple of gears. You need to make sure you download the latest driver for the uh, shifter. And the the right Fanatec driver. It's not on the Fanatec website. And then when you've installed that, you can you can calibrate it through the device options, and that lets you set it up properly. But you you have to use the Fanatec software. Uh, Window borderless works with VR as well. Yeah, because I, I, that's what I use. I had a problem when I updated Windows Creator Edition where I couldn't get the game to work. Uh, yeah, I couldn't get the game to work with Creator Edition because the game would keep minimising when I clicked on anything. Uh, so I had to run it full screen boardless. So it's definitely it's a better way of doing things on balance. As I say, with Windows 7 onwards, boardless didn't really... Um, affect performance just because the because the way it operates in windows xp and 98 and what have you running full screen was it's fundamentally different to running windowed but in windows 7 onwards it's no difference oh, well if there is a difference it's like <laughs> utterly negligible bar bar if there's some random technical problem so Try and get a lap in here. Love this track. It's mapped correctly in the controller panel. Hmm. I'm not sure. You, you're probably best off. Uh, you, you might just need to ask them when they're forms. I don't know exactly what issue you're having. If it's relate, if it's the same thing that when I first set up, I noticed. Thanks, first box, for posting that. Oh no, traffic jam. Oh dear. Come on, dude. This guy's so slow. Oh, there you go. There goes our hot lap. Just had uh, Mr. Bean in his Cleo cop in front of us. Mr. Bone. <laughs> so slow. Oh dear. Oh! Just motorbike through that. Wow, that's not gonna be a fast lap. Oh dear. Ah, oh, wow. Looks like we're gonna be starting in the pack. This is gonna be a carnage. Bashing bottle hard time. Let's put the windscreen wipers on, I'll feel better. <laughs> oh listen to them. On the glass. High fidelity windscreen wiper sound. Someone at Slightly Mad Studios had to go out and record windscreen wipers. It's probably one of their members of staff's uh, windscreen wiper. <laughs> There's probably, uh, I don't know whose car it is, but it's someone at Slightly Mad Studios has their 
windscreen wipe is immortalised in the game. Mr Bean, uh, he's, he's fast whilst he's brushing his teeth and uh, getting dressed. <laughs> the gears keep overlapping and won't map properly. I, I really don't know Frank Zappa. I'd have to... Uh, it could be faulty, but I, I would have to see to be able to help. I, I can't help you. <laughs> I'd, I would like to be able to help you. I can't... It's not... It's not... Uh, triggering anything in my mind you, pro you programmed the windscreen wipers but you didn't I bet because you programmed the windscreen wipers you leave them on all the time just to get the satisfaction that it's, it's uh, is, there a, is there a windscreen wiper class is it, has it got its own dedicated <laughs> class that activates the animation Oh dear. Or is it like a car components class or something? <laughs> In the weather handler. Oh dear. Well, I mean, it's uh, the truth be told, in reality, if you don't put your windscreen wipers on in your car, it doesn't rain, but someone always puts their windscreen wipers on and therefore it rains. It's like if you don't... In reality, it's only when people put their umbrellas up that that activates the weather class in British weather and causes the rain to happen, obviously, because the rain particle effect is tied into you know, the whole system. So... Uh, the moral is, it's, it's other people ruining life for us again, you know... It's never our fault, it's always other people's fault for everything. Blame everything on other people is what I'm trying to say. RWB, Speed Demon 91 in first. Mr. Charlie got pipped and uh, Dr. Gazer in third. Well done, guys. It's Peggy, Peggy 3. The Peggy Man. <laughs> the Peggy Man. I think Project Cars 2 should go for Peggy 18 and I, I think they should have, um, you know... You should, you should do a proper Group B rally with spectators that run the track, you know, that, that you can hit into and dismember. And that, that would make it... That would definitely increase sales, for sure. I mean, sure, you, you would lose out on the sales of, of children and parents in supermarkets buying racing games for kids, but you would get those sales from people that want to dismember people, which is a big market. I don't use umbrellas. Project Carmageddon, exactly. That phone up stainless right now. I get him on the line. I know someone that works at stainless. I give him a call. <laughs> we'll get. We'll sort it out. Come on, Project Cars Two Physics in Carmageddon Four. Ah, oh, the dream. Imagine Carmageddon with proper physics. Ah, oh, it'd be too good. I wouldn't stop playing something like that. I need to play Carmageddon Two again. Actually, such a. Such a beautiful touch. Garbage physics. It's like there's no gravity in the game, but really fun. RBR, your windscreen would go red as you hit spectators. It's not spectators that go on the tracks in RBR. It's the bloody cameramen. Really nice attention to detail, though, what they did there. You could just... Yeah, they just have to have the spectators like the uh, people in uh, Midtown Madness that you can't actually hit. Okay, let's go. I need to. I need to pop to the loo, but we haven't got enough time. I need to hold the bladder for ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. The the um, the cameramen in um, Richard Burns Rally really did help. Oh look, the whiskey wipes are still going. It really did help to make the world feel alive and organic. Oh, the whiskey wipes. Are oh no, break the sound effect. There we go. I think we've totally broken everything in. Probably want the speed limiter off for the start of the race. That was a bog down beginning. I, I remember... Oh god, this is going to be... I need to get on the inside of the corner for T1. Okay, that's not going to happen. 
Let's just try and avoid everyone. Oh, oh, that was fortunate. Avoided. Yeah, I remember playing Carmageddon 2 when it when it first came out. It was, it, I actually bought it when it came out. I got it from a computer fair, actually. Do you guys remember computer fairs? I, think, I don't think they still do them anymore. But in the UK, basically, this is obviously before the internet. Well, the internet existed, but no one used it. But, um... Obviously, you didn't download games, you bought them on CDs. And uh, rather than going to like game shops and computer shops, they had things called computer fairs, and it, it would be like a sort of market, ad hoc c computer market. And you'd be able to get really good prices on games and computer hardware and bits and bobs, second hand things and stuff. I don't think, yeah, I, I've not ever seen a computer fair since it's like 2000. I mean, this was in like 90, I think it must be 98 when Carmageddon 2 came out. 97. How, how old were you? I was pretty young, I must have been. But I, uh, I've, I've had computers since I was really young. I've always been into computers. Ruined my life. <laughs> Do you remember public domain? Oh, oh, <laughs> a bit tight through here. We're not even in seventh yet. But yeah, I mean, computer fairs were awesome because you'd also obviously everyone there would be into our into computers, and they're more in on the hobbyist side. It's a good way to meet people. All right, ten. They didn't care, actually, my parents. I, my parents never cared about game violence, to be honest. They they were bothered about gun, real-world guns. I used to, I used to hide... Um, I used to hide... Because I used to like airsoft as well. I used to hide the airsoft guns in my computer case. Because, you know, no one's going to look inside your computer. Well, your parents aren't going to look inside your computer case, are they? I don't think they even knew you could put something in there. Pro tip, <laughs> that was before window case mods, so you could hide stuff in your computer. What a, what a move, into 8th place. Parents in the 8th, yeah. <laughs> Project Cars 3. I think uh, SMS learnt not to... Uh... Well, I mean, to be honest, they, they didn't really announce Project Cars 2 after Project Cars 1. Or, you know, it was more... They were being clear that it's not going to have... That it wasn't going to have the same WMD thing and they were offering it to allow them to join. I think there's a lot of misconception with that in that many people don't understand how de game development works in the sense that... You know... It, the work for the second title ha happens when the first title is sort of essentially winding off its, its production. Like you, you already begin the next one because you, in, with a games company, you have to keep everyone has to be busy because it's expensive to have staff sitting around doing nothing. And I, I don't think a lot of people realise that that the cost of, of staff. So, uh, yeah. Seventh is on the way, guys. <laughs> I feel like a seventh pizza delivery man. Nice one, Dandy Hyman. Come on. Nice tip winkling. I haven't tipped with good anyone, have I? Eastern Europe for you. Ah, oh, it's the postman. Postman pit stop, guys. Thing. No, no, move! 
child. Oh, I got done by the postman. Ah, oh. right. it was a it was a good looking postman. <laughs> like nice Polish lady. Well, that was successful. I guess we're not going to be winning that race. The bloody mouse map that I got for free for buying something else. <laughs> totally not worth answering the door for. I'll be back in a second, guys. I'm going to pop to the bathroom. So there's three minutes to kill. Might as, well make, uh, might as well make another cup of tea. So, see you in a second, guys. If you're watching, you're new, you're new, click the subscribe button, click the like button, make yourselves a cup of tea, have a biscuit. Also, follow us on uh, Twitter. Uh, link to the video description. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay. Did she show you her parcel? She showed me my parcel. It was rather confusing. While we wait, everyone hit the like button. Thanks for that. Unless I knew what is coming, I literally leave my neighbours to get my parcels if I'm racing. Or I've already uh, forced my neighbours to hold on to the fat box. We bought a uh, Caller Master... Silencio, Silencio 352 case to put the uh, fat box components in. Ah, uh, Silencio! Call a master for some reason, think they're Italian. Maybe it is an Italian company, I mean, I wouldn't know. The silent micro ATX case with noise dampening front and side panels, the powerful extra flow fans included. 240 millimeter liquid cooling support supports 158 millimeter tall high end CPU coolers and 365 millimeter long graphics cards, dual USB 3.0 and SD card reader. The Cooler Master Silencio. It's -a me! It's -a me, Silencio! It's like knockoff Super Mario.
Just another Taiwan company. Well, hand it to Taiwan. Hi, Shadow. Just say... Oh, I missed that. Called Gaming Monster Server Working Deal. What? Can you type that again? It's, it's got pushed off the screen before I could read it. For a sentence here, the box has a lot to say. I'm off to rescue the princess. In my silence case. Just so you know, we now have a working dedicated server project called, too, called Gamer Muscle Discord and it works perfectly. Nice. I, I hope you license the, the uh, Gamer Muscle brand there. I mean, we take we take our we take the brand licensing really serious. Um, applications <laughs> for brand licensing, uh, you know, every day, hundreds of them. So you're very lucky if you get one. Uh, many people have compared this to Formula One and Bernie, Bernie Eccleston's reign on the Formula One brand. So uh, well, that sounds awesome, though. How many slots has it got? Also, can you can you join it and control it all from the like? Because when I last tried it, you can set up and control it from inside the game, but it depends how you set the dedicated server up. I don't know if you've just set it to rotation. Mike McLaren, uh, uh, why would you even try to run a server on a Windows platform? Some people don't have a choice. Right, guys, time for me to be an iceman and defrost my freezer. Raikkonen will be back in a bit. <laughs> Which is better, Oculus Rift HC5 for driving simulators uh, and just saving you money. Just get a Rift at this point in time. It's not worth spending the extra money on the on the Vive right now. F1's dead with Halo and the new logo. Don't forget, double combo. But it's got Robert Kubica, so I'm going to have to watch it next year if he, if he actually gets in with his one hand driving. Oh, and it's Robert Kubica coming around the corner. But he can only turn left. <laughs> he should got. He should have been an oval driver. But no, I do like Robert Kubica. He's he's uh, his nose is the same size as mine, so I appreciate that. And uh, he's also a driver that always pushes. But can be controlled by back end. But I think it'll wait to the pack. Yeah, I mean that was the problem we had was mostly with the um, the depends how you set it up. So if you controlled it from in the game, that seemed to cause a lot of problems. F1's been rubbish since 2007, let's be honest. Since Robert Kubica left, exactly. Uh, you know. There we go. Well done, Bedrock Zoo. Well done, RWB Speedmon. And well done, Mr. Charlie. Now, I hope you guys don't mind, but we're going to do that track again, because I really would quite like to drive it. Um... Let's hide the cursor, that's nice. Uh, I, I would quite like to drive it. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully another postman won't come. I, I also bought a uh, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse for the fat box. £13. That was actually in this um, the Black Friday sale. Budget Bluetooth keyboard and mouse seems to work really quite well. Of course, you use the mouse as a very small red LED torch if that's what you're into. Look at that. It's not. It's not very clear on the video, but quite nice for thirteen. This uh, what's it called? It's made in China, but I mean everything's made in China. I can't remember what it's called. It's like jelly something or other, but it seemed to be like of of the small as, as a sim rig keyboard. I mean, I still I'm still going to use this one. I tend to like just keep this on my lap, but I found I was using a full-size keyboard when I'm sat in my sim rig and then using my PC and I want to type like type an email out or something. Uh, this is nice, so uh, highly recommended. Still on sale now. If you do, oh look at that! I mean, it's a, it's not a mouse; it's a torch. If you do uh, buy one, use our Amazon link. But it seems it seems to work quite well. The mouse the mouse is a little bit laggy, I think, but. Does its job for this. £13. Mouse and keyboard. Can't complain. We're doing this again because I missed it due to the postman. If you get another chance, Bedrock Zoo, don't worry about it. 
I really, I really, really would like to be F1 fan, but with stupid rules. Yeah, I know. I mean, I think that's the thing. It's totally arbitrary, the, the rule. So if, if you were going to follow it like you follow a football match, for example, I, I don't see how someone could genuinely get into the sort of point aspect of it. They, the, the commentary is terrible, apart from Martin Brundle. And the uh, editing is awful of the races to follow as well. Um, it's only good when it happens to be on a. Sp thank you. It's only good when it happens to be on a specific track. It's a nice track. I guess if you've got a Sky, you can watch the onboards, which isn't too bad. But the car's a bit rubbish at the moment. So uh, yeah, but I mean, you know, you don't have to watch it, do you? Okay, Joseph Elton, thanks for coming along. Hope you have a good evening. We'll see you next time. It's impossible to get your attention in the game chat. Please change car. Yeah, I know, but I, we will change car after this. I wanted to do this track with this car. Sorry. <laughs> I am in charge, and I'm going to torture everybody. Mind you, Clear Cup's a good car for public service. Due to it being easy to recover. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I know. Norm I normally use a um, Corsair K92 keyboard. That's why I, I always. It's a nice mechanical keyboard for proper use. But I find it quite handy to have a little Bluetooth keyboard on the sim rig. Time for the cater room. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Whoops! Just killed someone there. Hi, William Powell. Welcome along. That's an uh, unconventional way of exiting that corner, but it did the trick. good at driving on this track. It's got to be super smooth. Be nice and delicate. Oh, a bit of a jam here. Where's he going? Tie wall. Oh, we got the trombone over that, all right. Too much speed through there. Third place so far. It's a bit better than the previous one. Got a little bit of a gap. This guy's. Oh, it's because we keep butchering the last corner. There goes the brake board. Uh, is that a league? I don't tend to do leagues because I can never commit to like this uh, the schedule I mean for example I'm, I'm gonna be missing the um, AC race tomorrow because I, I'm, I've got to go to something in the evening tomorrow evening so you know but I mean I can't predict it just because of, of what I do it's it's kind of random with timings of things uh, the patch isn't out yet Paul B
finally ordered a new wheel. I've been wondering what to get since Project Cars 2 first came out. What did you get? G29? Budget it away. T300. Good time to buy wheels, actually. That's one thing that has... They do get reduced in price quite aggressively for the Black Friday sales. I think the patch is going to be next week, to be honest. There we go. Touch bell. Keep the power on a bit. What are you second up? Ah, oh, we need Charlie White in. Knew that was coming. Still hold on to half a second though. Patch next year. I think it'll be. I think it'll be next week. I've uh, I've I've pointed my sim rig in the uh, direction of the cult of Sighting My Studios, and, uh, and I'm getting uh, signals. Hello, Aljandro. I cannot say your surname. Hello, though. Welcome along. For joining the chat room. Inside info. The uh, the inside info is that the slightly mad studio staff aren't actually slightly mad. They're outright, totally and utterly bananas. There you go. Unofficial press release. Should it should be called slightly mad studios? Totally mentally sick studios. They, that's what they were going to call the company initially, but they, they had to retract it due to it being offensive to two people in uh, Abergavenny, so, you know, they couldn't go with it. It's all about being PC these days. Hello, Dave! Dave Bucklestone! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Our favourite de death metal lead singer. I haven't seen you for a while. Hope you're doing alright. Hope your uh, death metal career is still going well. Nice and smooth. Look at this. Drive like a bar of butter and you get the time. Clearly doing a lot wrong here. Damn boy, grow up. Never gonna grow up. Stay young, drink heavy on. I'm like a walking billboard with the stuff I come out with. I think the, uh, I've not used the G920, but I, I say I had the G25 for a long time. I think it's a good wheel. For, it's for value for money, the pedals are quite nice. It works well, it does the job. Can't really complain about it. Apparently there's some driver issues at times, but I think you can roll them back. This is not the end of the world. But yeah, I, I don't have a problem with it myself. I'll, I'll pick one up at some point to review. But it's essentially the same thing as the G25, you know? So and I, I had the G25 for five years. Seventh place, boys! Hallelujah, there's a bonnet. We're in the Lord's position, the holy position. And Jesus emerged from the cave after six other guys making him the seventh Lord of Light. See what 2018 brings. I think uh, Yellowstone Park's going to erupt and we're all going to be dead, so make the most of this year. Give me a muscle. Whoa! 
Game of Muscle, Jack Spade's files, watched your video, watched long term view. I'm still using them now. Uh, I'm using the, his second version because he, he changes them again. I see, they seem to be fine. Seems to do. Seems to be better than the defaults. Does the trick. I need to try someone else. Someone else gave me their files to try out, but I, I'm happy with these. They do, they do the trick. I can tell what the cards are doing for the most part. That's all that's, that's, all that's required. I still. Project Cars 2, I still think braking could be conveyed a little bit more clearly. Like, at what point the car's going to lock up. But, you know. It is what it is, and there we go. 7th has reduced itself into 10th. Oh, the finish line is way before the lights. Have a sip of the tea. Apparently the brake pedal is very tough to press. Yeah, I don't think it's as tough to press as mine. Death, death Day Sky. Kimmy's the boss. I can appreciate uh, Kimmy Raikkonen. Sexy guy. My type of man. Bah. Bah. I can speak a little bit of uh, Raikkonen. Bah. Uh. <laughs> the only language that you need to be able to speak, really, that, if you're, if you're a race driver. To be honest, most race drivers are pretty brain dead, so it's quite good that he's man he managed to get at least a couple of sounds out. Don't know, we're waiting here. The holy position, and it isn't missionary. <laughs> End up pushing yourself backwards to the pedal down. Well, I mean, yeah, if, you, if you're on a wheelie chair. But I'm telling you, if I was on a wheelie chair with this brake pedal, I'd be through the wall. Well done, RWB Speedmon in first place. Mr. Charlie second. The dandy highwayman, he's joined the server and he's in third place. Bedrock Zero in fourth. Uh, Wagon Attack seventh. Gun for eighth. We're, we're in ninth. Should be interesting. Need another biscuit, really. Now, a sunrise race here. This should be, uh, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Well, I'm sure if you Google Mr. Court Marshall, get yourself on Google, it'll all be explained. Everything's explained on the internet. Cam kill addict. <laughs> Want to hear me moan on my live cam? Well, that's not a bot. Uh, I will. Uh, if if they're touching their cells whilst playing uh, with a diet drive wheel, you know, rubbing those Newton meters, I'll watch that. But I don't. I don't think they will be. It's just gonna be a letdown, isn't it? I opened the door there for no reason. I bet you. No one that works at that Cam Girl website can uh, do a lap of the ring in a reasonable time, for sure. Sorry, I just gave him a little boost. I like I like to speed him up. Not a bad start, guys. Bearing in mind that we haven't had any. Uh... This guy's destroyed by me. No ranking on this server. The guy behind me is determined to take me out. So you always get one, who is it? He's driving into me. Is he trying to take me out? Bradley Burns? What are you doing? I mean, look at his car, it's destroyed. He's just driven me off the track. What a thief. Watch out for Mr. Bradley Burns, he's got a reputation now.
He's taking that guy out. Bradley Burns, you just took me out. You just took that other guy out. Who is this Bradley Burns guy? Who does he think he is? So do you think he'll take out the next guy along? I mean, the clue is in the fact that he's got a smashed windscreen. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not good. I don't think there was much avoid in that. How's the force feedback of the uh, direct drive wheel feel? Um, pretty amazing. <laughs> it's, how, it's hard to describe force feedback, to be honest. It's one of those things, isn't it? What are you doing, mate? I think we do indeed have some crashes here. I'm having to put the view on uh, something where I can actually see. <laughs> something wrong with your windscreen. Auto glass replace, auto glass repair. Yeah, that might help. We'll just do some flying now. I can't believe it, it was a uh, crash in front of us, I couldn't really avoid it. We're <laughs> driving a lorry. Yeah, I think he probably was trolling. He, he had a smashed up windscreen before T2. That's always a bad sign. Could be quite a fun driver from this view. It's an authentic view. Can't really hear the engine though. <laughs> Look at this guy with his red, red rims on. Hi, Natus. <coughs> Alpha GT. We've got a whole bunch of people here. Is that Nigel Mansell on 15th position's uh, icon? Oh, it, it's really hard to overtake people that. Uh, quite slow because you don't know what they're going to do so <laughs> it's really hard to you know give the appropriate space and work out how you're going to get around them I'm going for the epic recovery here That corner's taken that lot better now. Hello, Dragos. Hope you're alright. Welcome along. Try not to hit that guy. Moving on. Oh. It's been with the Discord channel. What's going on in the Discord channel? I to be honest, I got used to the G25 pedals. You just get used to it and work away around it. I used to do all right lap times with them. The nice thing with the load cell pedal is it's just easier to, to be consistent. It's just, you know, more simple. It feels somewhat more like a real, um, not like a real road car pedal, but more like a go-kart pedal. Presumably more like a, uh, what a race car pedal would be set up like.
There's a guy in Twitch in your lobby making a live stream. What's his what's his name? I don't care. <laughs> oh, I don't mind. People are free to do whatever they want. You can't you can't tell you can't tell people what not to do. Get give them some viewers. It's all promotion. Even the cam girls come in here to uh, promote themselves, you know. As I say, I mean this is like the hot the hot place to be to be honest. If if I was a if I was an operator of a cam girl website, the first thing that I'd send my bots to would be a driving simulator channel. I mean, you know, where else would you send them to? Nothing's bigger, more popular, and more conducive to uh, to cam girling than uh, driving simulators. Hello, Jimmy boy. Jimmy Broadbent is in the room. <laughs> He's not wearing clothes until he streams. <laughs> he's just he's just sat in his sim rig naked. He, he literally just has clothes on the back. He's got his slippers and clothes behind his sim rig, and he just sits in his <laughs> when he stops streaming. As soon as his stream stops, he takes his clothes off and he just sits in his sim rig in the dark. That's it. He just sits there like this, naked. Uh, falls asleep with his hands on his steering wheel, like this. Doesn't move, and then when he goes live, clicks the live button, quickly gets dressed, and then he's, uh, that's it, he's back in, he's back in. Jimmo's, uh, Jimmy, is a uh, his sim ring is actually his his flesh on his buttocks has actually melded with the chair in his sim ring because he doesn't leave it. He's now one with his sim ring. If he if he goes to the shops, he stands up and his sim ring is attached to him. He actually has to use like a special pulley system to go outside. Quite an effort to get to get Jimmy out through his door. And out of his house, he has to call the uh, NHS to uh, get him out of the house, and uh, they they knocked a, a special hole through his uh, wall. They sometimes take him through his window because he's that big with his sim rig. Uh, the reason we're driving in this view is we've got a bit of a technical issue with the car called uh, I've just run over a small child, and uh, their head impacted in a rather inconvenient place on the windscreen. Uh, you know, so as as much as I like looking through what appears to be a lake that's had a brick thrown into it, a frozen lake with a brick thrown into it, uh, it's a little bit taxing. But let's be authentic. Let's enjoy those. Uh, let's enjoy the shader and the edge of the uh, the edge of the smash bits of glass there. Let's enjoy that. Look at those shiny edges. Truly a sight to behold. Still on your right. Okay, clear. On your left rear corner. Left I had a chance to test the phone VR. If you could a phone VR is awful as well, so if you enjoyed that, phone VR is worse than the DK1. I mean, it depends which phone we are, but I, I guess it's an introduction. Guys, if you if you don't know about Jimmy Broadbent, though, check out his channel. Give him a subscription. He does uh, arousing, highly erotic sim racing videos. A lot more hair in his videos than me. He goes for the sort of 70s sim racing. Uh, you know, long hair. He, he doesn't he doesn't shave, unlike me. I, I mean, I, I shave all the time. I like to keep things more modern. I, I'm much more contemporary with my sim racing. But uh, yeah, Jimmy's Jimmy's full 70s hairy when it comes to his sim racing. So check out his channel. Give him a subscription. Give him some views. Oh, when I'm not online. When I'm online, close his channel. Flag flag all his videos. But whilst I'm online, 
I, when I, last time I'm offline, subscribe to his channel, donate to him. You know, you know how it is. You know what, you know what I'm saying, guys. It's quite easy instructions to follow. But you know, if you're into that hairy stuff, as I say, it's a, it's all right. It's an all right place to go to for the for the hairy stuff. Some people are into that, you know. Some say it looks more natural than the uh, clean shaven look that we go for. So, uh, you know, everyone's into their own thing. No harm done. But Jimmy Broadbent YouTube. Sim racing and general arousing uh, activities. There, we, we uh, removed the uh, boot off our car for a bit of extra speed, bit of weight reduction. Don't think it worked too well, but... You know, you got to try these things. Chickens London Underground. <laughs> oh no! I'm going to be going to London tomorrow. If anyone wants to uh, try and murder me, so uh, look out for me. I'll be round round about the House of Parliament. Jimmer wears better cardigans. I don't even have any cardigans. So, of course, he obviously he's going to beat me on that. Great for you air conditioning. Minor damage to Twining's car. We lost the Twining sponsorship off the bonnet. They're going to be having a word with this. Can you not make sure the bonnet's... Do you know what? I was watching Clio Cup, real Clio Cup cars being prepared. Because someone posted a video in, the, uh, in our Discord channel. And they actually have a special bolt to keep the bonnet on the vehicle. Exciting, I know. Hello, SWA Gaming. No password, no ranking. It's carnage! Well done, RWB Speedmon. Well done, Mr. Charlie. Well done, D Demonic. Let's go for a different car. Let's, let's see. No ranking. Let's see if we can bathurst it in the radical. Let's see what happens here. This, this can only go one of one way. And that way is probably pretty damn terrible. But I'm willing I'm willing to take that risk. I'm gonna take it take take one for the team here. One slot if someone wants to try and join. Da Dan oh hang on. Dan who needs kicking? Dan MC okay. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, I just took your word for it. I was like, a, I felt like a, uh, <laughs> I felt like a, like one of those uh, polit politician war criminals there. I didn't even do an inquiry. We didn't even check. I'm going to get disgruntled messages now. I've just made an enemy for life, you know. I just took your word for it. This is how you end up with people sending manure through the post. It, you know, if you just kick people on on a whim. But I've I've done it. I trusted you, Dandy. I, I, I've just executed someone at your behest. I, I, you know, no public inquiry, no court case, no trial, just instant death penalty. I mean, that, that was a, uh, that was really medieval. That was pure Game of Thrones. I, I just went in there with a knife. You just said that when you pointed at him and I, that's it, gone. Life's uh, over. Da, 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 da. Dandy, dandy highwayman, dandy highwayman, dandy, dandy highwayman. It's a new theme tune for Game of Thrones season. God knows what season we're on. Probably nothing will happen, so it doesn't matter. Frank Zappa, I use Fanatec catheter and Intravenous Awesome mod. Fanatec branded catheter. There's a market for everything. The Red Wedding at Laguna. Jello Sigal Sigalo gameplay. What sort of gameplay do you have, Sigali? Sigali? If you've got good gameplay, people we should uh, promote your channel. Promote everybody. Why not? Well, unless your channel's crap, in which case. <laughs> Good race, Dandy. Shame you spun. 
Well, look, you got sympathy for him. I don't get any sympathy. We've got the Twining's Radical, by the way, guys. That's the wrong way, mate. Look at this skin. Another pro skin by Yuda Jenny. Look at that Game of Muscle logo on the back. Fanatec on the rear fin. Hang on, let's get her. Oh, look at that. I mean, that does actually look really nice. In my opinion. Simplicity Direct Drive. Proto Simtech. Simtech K2 Cockpit. That's gorgeous purple. The purple and black does look really nice. Oh, you're ruining it for us, mate. Ah, there's a wall. <laughs> How did you uh, cause £15,000 worth of damage to your uh, car? Well, I was looking at my logos. Oh, God, come on. Are there any other cars in Project Cars 2 outside the radical clear and Uh I don't think so, Jimmy. I mean, that's one of the reasons why people are... Uh, are looking for the DLC to be honest because it was kind of strange given that Project Cars 2 is a competitor for games like Forza and GT Sport in many ways on console it really did catch people by surprise that they only they only had a Clio Cup, Caterham and a Radical in the game I think people were expecting more vehicles also I think people were disappointed by the fact that they only run Brands Hatch and Donington I think uh, that was another surprise and, and why why the game got a lot of criticism at launch. But I I, 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 haven't, I haven't minded myself. I, it's enough to keep me engaged. Some people say I'm, I'm a bit simple in that regard, but I, I, they're obviously wrong. Exactly, too much choice. And it's been scientifically proven, there's been studies done. The less choice you give people, the more the more happiness they have because they get choice anxiety. I'm I'm actually not even making. Oh Jesus Christ! Broken wrists. I'm generally I'm genuinely not making that up. I'm now hospitalised. Thank you, uh, Omnistar. Let's get back on the circuit. Sorry. So, yeah, this is going to be the problem with this circuit. I thought this might happen. Well, the other guy obviously didn't even push his brakes, but... Yes, I think this, this car is too hard for many people. <laughs> I had to get a skin. It was, a, it was in a case unlock. I, I bought a key. Uh, I, I, I spent £60 on cards. Which then, uh, then when you get the rare card, you can trade that in for a key. And every 15th key, you can get a car skin. And the Twining's car skin is a very rare one and a highly desirable one. So, uh, yeah, it took, a lot of, it, it took a lot of skill and uh, trading to get it. Yeah, we might have to go for the password in a bit. option paralysis yeah I'm, well the problem I have with that sort of thing is I'm alright if there's a decision that has to be made where there's an obvious logical choice I'm fine if it's something where is you know there's no like say you're buying something stupid for yourself and it's like it's in different colours I can't choose because you know it's all the same isn't it there's no there's no real reason to pick one over the other that's that's what true hell will be. That was a bit slow through there. Yeah, I do have a car set up that uses proper gearing on here, but we seem to have lost that. I like headphones as well, six pairs. I've just stuck to these Sennheiser 595s for ages. They've done the trick. I've had these headphones for like eight years now. Back to patch them up with Suguru and uh, tape, but they still work the same.
Oh, here we go. I knew, see, I knew executing someone would be a bad idea. That's hilarious, you getting on here and getting me kicked after what you did, Dandy. Thanks for the race again, my soul. Oh, no. <laughs> see, I knew, I knew this would happen. This is why you can't execute people. This is why I have a no-kick rule in general. You know, the moment you murder someone, there's consequences. This is, you know, you can't just murder people willy-nilly. I knew it wouldn't work out. It's going to be like, we're going to have dung through the post. This is why, if you're going to murder someone, you need... Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I don't know. We, this stream has turned rather religious. Um, if, you know, if you're going to murder someone, you have to murder everybody. The whole server. Worst dictator ever. I know, but that's what I say. If, you, if you're going to be a good dictator, you have to murder everybody. All dissenters, every, every single person. You have to have an underlying sense of fear there. It's, it's, you, I don't, it's not a, uh, Dan, it's not a ban, Dan, Dan with a ban, it's just a, a, a kick, so, I don't know, I just felt like murdering someone, I didn't even feel like it, I just, I just murdered on a whim, I just needed an excuse to kill someone, and I thought, well, here's a chance to exercise power, and it's already gone badly, but it, it happens, uh, you know, but you're not banned, so you, you'll be able to join another server. Oh, Jesus. Start the, the game of muscle debate. So right, it's all just game. It's all fun and games. I mean, the thing is, a lot of the time, even when people do crash into people, they don't actually... It's not wrecking. It's normally just accidents, netcode, or spontaneous short-term frustration. I, I, personally, I've literally never purposely wrecked someone. I would never do that. Never in my life have I wrecked anybody, as you know from watching these streams. So, uh, you know, but as I say, you'll be able to, you'll be able to rejoin. I'll, I'll just start murdering people at random. That'd be good fun. Okay, my muscle goes full. <laughs> As I say, I think you, you know, for Stalin. Well, Stalin's technique was just not feeding people. That's not, it's not really, that's not murdering everyone. That's just not feeding them. It's different. You can get away with it that way. Same with uh, Mao in China, Chairman Mao. Just don't, just don't feed people. You'll get away with it. I'm amazed that the British government hasn't used that technique yet. I think they're trying to set it up. They're working on it. I'm sure it'll probably happen. I mean, they, they're kind of pulling it off with the hospitals. That's another method. You can uh, underfund the health service to the point where everyone just starts dying. You can get away with that. That's, that's a fine way to murder people that way. Don't feed them. Murder by proxy. That's what I'm saying. Murder by proxy is the technique that everybody seems to accept. As soon as you start putting people in, in gas chambers and shooting them, everyone knows it, it's, it's too obvious. You can't do that. You have to murder by proxy. If you're a psychopath, don't go out on a killing spree. Don't get a van and drive into people. Don't, you know, rubbish. Don't make bombs. Totally pointless. You'll get caught before you kill at max, what, 50 people? useless absolutely useless you need to do murder by proxy that way you can kill if you're really good 10,000 50,000 100,000 millions of people so uh, and, and you'll get away with it so uh, we're, we're, I'm not quite there yet we're, we're learning though whoa Can't get that. Welcome to the channel, whoever subscribed there. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for clicking this subscribe button. Oh! Monster. I've never had a monster energy drink. Need to try one. Actually, no, I don't. <laughs> no, that's a bad idea. No, I should do it. Should, before we die, we can have a monster energy drink on our deathbed. Oh, one last word! 
I want to try Monster Energy Drink. Game of Muscle Killing 101. <laughs> I guess someone else to do it. Well, that's it. This <laughs> is section of the strip fun to watch in the news. Oh dear. It's alright, we'll come to haunt us. We'll uh, somehow decide to have a career in politics and this this uh, <laughs> part of the stream will get brought up and uh, totally taken out of context. And that'll be it, political career over in a flash. But you know, what, what can you do? Some people will never understand uh, context, will they? Well, 14th. Not too bad. I'll, I'll sip my tea to that. Just did quality with that back wings. Uh, it's only visual damage, uh, Sigal gameplay, so you're alright. <laughs> Political career wasn't over years ago. So we're playing the long game here. I mean, in the end. What gives me hope is you look at you look at some people in government right now and you, you you know clearly the threshold for getting in isn't that high. By the way, just look at our my Kim Young. He killed quite a few people. Oh no! Kick out L three. Why? I can't. This is what happens. You become a dictator. And you murder one person, and then everybody wants you to start killing more people. This is this is the problem. Just just asking for executions, left, right, and centre. It's it's hard being king of Muscle Land. So, okay, I'll, I'll execute him. I'll execute him. We've executed. Once you've killed one person, the next person is less effort. It's like um. Breaking Bad, you know. Once you start going, once you've done that, got over that initial hump of uh, guilt and uh, that visceral feeling of wanting to throw up from murdering someone. Of course, I wouldn't know what that feeling is like because I've never murdered anybody. Honestly, I've <laughs> may have murdered a couple of people, but I haven't really. Or have we? Oh, it's all confusing. But once you've murdered one person, you know it's all it's all fine. So now, who are we going to murder? Who are we murdering? LL3 <laughs> LL3 Oh dear Where's he from? Oh, it's a flower Goodbye We've murdered two people now So the next person is just going to I think everyone's going to be dead They've gone I think this is like the uh, death penalty stream here I mean, this is the route to becoming Kim Jong Un here. Start, as I say, it starts off with one, then two, then three. Before you know it, <laughs> the Monday Massacre. I'm not confused. I tend to believe you. Oh dear. We're we readying up here. The Game of Muscle Monday Massacre. That could be the new new stream title. Hello, Neotronis. We will end up with a whitelist soon. <laughs> oh, no. Is that a type of list that sounds inherently racist. We need a uh, multicultural list. A uh, multi-ethnicity list. Another one gets a free helicopter ride. Hopefully it's not a helicopter ride with Colin McRae. Oh, no. You don't want one of them. Imagine if Hitler had atomic bombs. <laughs> What's going on? It's totally this Monday Madness stream. It's all fine. <laughs> it's gone. We've lost the plot. Okay, let's ready up here. Manico. Manico. Uh... Australian GP. I'm excited. Again, those of us that joined us, it's a good point. Thanks to those of you that did fap with us and used our fap link. Much appreciated. Money's gone into a stream PC that we'll be building next week. 
so up there's a car up our arse thank you feel safer at the beach than on the track see if someone lets us join in merging we don't have indicators on this oh that's nice right right to the back we go happy times okay well this this is not gonna happen is it this is gonna be absolute carnage up the hill here this is gonna be a disaster thank you Neotronis that's a good old fap I appreciate your I appreciate your honesty and uh, you know it's good it's good to fap with muscle whoa okay We made that happen. Look at these avoidance skills here. Started to call attention to myself and help build my ego. But we survived that somehow. We're not even driving in VR. What is this miracle? Do really like this uh, radical. It's fantastic. There's <laughs> bodywork everywhere. Oh, he's facing the wrong way. Don't know who that was. We're still alive, guys. Half a lap in. Downhill Australian tarmac ski slope with kangaroos strategically positioned around it. We're still going. Whoa. Ninja-like reflexes. <laughs> I think we'll... Uh, I think this guy's going to drive into us. Still right. Does he realise how he's on the edge of life here? It's all about staying calm, guys. On the brakes. <laughs> oh my god, how are we still going? There's smoke there. It's car Defend the car from behind. That's important. This is like storming the trenches at bloody. One uh forgotten what the, what the place was called. World War One. Where were the World War One trenches? I can't think of the word. That's, uh, that's a mental failure right there. One more race game must Formula X. Oh dear, that's, that's a bad idea. High speed pulse. Verdun, there you go. That's, a, that's, a, that's one of the places. That's a uh, could have been handy if I'd uh, said that off the top of my head. I should uh, should know because I've been listening to podcasts about World War One recently. I tell you, dyslexic brains are useless when it comes to names of things. I don't know how that happens. You will be born with an inability to remember the names of anything, but you can actually remember what it is, but not the name. Good job. Be better to not remember anything of it. Whoa, bunny hop over the wall. If you didn't remember anything, then you wouldn't know to bring it up in the first place. Okay, still next to us. Let him go back in front. Oh, I should, maybe I should have just squeezed him. He's cleared you. These guys just let them kill each other. Yeah, those those are really good. I tend to fall asleep though, like fifty minutes into it, and then I can't remember where I fell asleep, and then you end up listening to the same <laughs> part over and over again, and you feel like you're going mental. Avoided that. That was pro. I, I sort of, I was like, okay, well, I'll put the brakes on here. I'm pretty sure something's going to happen. That was like septic peg. Short term memory loss. Oh dear, this, this race has been nice and calm. I mean, I tell you what, I've had two pints of tea before starting this, and it definitely does help you remain calm. <laughs> 
two dangerous cleared. Oh dear. This is what happens when you don't have any ranking. I guess, uh, you know, this is why people complain. But there's a way to avoid it, you know. Just drink two pints of tea. We've not even got the safety high-vis jacket on and we're doing all right so far. Halfway through the race. Three minutes fifty-five left. Thought it's a postman again. This part of the track is fantastic. It's a bit of a ball clencher. I have to leave because of a stupid bug where you can't see anything in VR. Oh no. Hopefully that'll be fixed. <laughs> Manic depression. You shall not pass One car behind back. us. Two legs behind. I think it's the uh, twining skin on the vehicle off his uh, essential, essentially invulnerability. Exactly. Totally unstoppable. I mean, normally 13th position would be bad, but to be honest, I'm happy that we've got four wheels. R Factor 2 now has sim racing system. Any interest in trying them? Potentially. I'll have to check it out again. Get into it. So, I, I do want to start playing other simulators more than just Project Cars 2 and AC. So, I mean, we're trying to start playing more race room as well. And also, I want to start playing more flight simulators on streams and things. So, there's only so much time and there's too many sims. Well, there's a wall. Give it a little tap. Make sure it's solid. It's still there. If you don't check that the walls are there, how do you know if they are? It's that, you know, it's that old thing. If, it, if the tree, if you're not there to hear the tree fall in the forest, or however that proverb goes, did it? <laughs> I've just butchered that proverb. But you know, you know what I'm getting at. Oh, there's a car sideways. There he is. Whoop. Go around there. Tap the wall. Truck sim, I don't, I don't really like truck sim that much because it, it gives me nightmares trying to park them. Uh, Euro truck sim is not too, too bad, but American truck sim, some of the uh, garages are insane. I spent a good two hours trying to park once. I know you can skip the parking, but then I feel like I'm cheating. Schrodinger's Bathurst. Train sim, yeah, but again, train sim is for when you're about to die of old age, so I'm kind of, I'm putting that off. Definitely want to try um, Derail Valley because that's got VR. It's not really that's not really a simulator. I mean, it kind of is, but that'd be quite nice to play a bit of. Yeah, I, American Truck Sim is really immersive. I think it's a good piece of software, it's just not, not really my cup of tea. Whoa! It's Omni Star 13. <laughs> Fan boost. I've, um, part of the patch that Slightly My Studios are putting into the game, uh, they've added a fan boost to this. 
the more the more live stream viewers you have watching you, the more H HP boost you get. Whoops, a little bit of a slide there. One leg behind. So, for example, for every five one viewers step. watching your live stream, you get one HP. Okay, clear. Boost. And you might you might say to yourself, why why are we not winning the race then? And as I say, it's because it's not it's not in this version. It's going to be in the patch. This version of the game we're playing now has the Game of Muscle Seven algorithm, but that's a bit faulty. There's a wall. Bit of a scrape off the wall there. All over the shop. Seems to. Have, don't know what's going on. ETS does work with VR, but it's a little bit glitchy. It's a little bit funky how it works. Because they, because it's a DirectX 9 game, they're kind of about to hack it in. But it, it, if you've got a fast enough computer or you set it up right, it can be quite good. <laughs> Goat Simulator. I've never played Goat Simulator. Oh, he's going so slow. I've had to slam my brakes on there to avoid hitting him. Bloody hell. At least we kept the car pointing forwards. Nice try, mate. It's not going to happen. <laughs> nice try, Mr. Snug. Snug as a bed bug. No passing for you. Say no more, I'm getting VR soon than I thought. Make sure you click our Amazon link if you do. You have to force ASW on, otherwise it's glitchy. Seagull gameplay. Well, that race was a success. Uh, what's FE? For, a Formula E? Nice one, Galino. You crashed into me, which made me lose control and fly in front of... Oh, that might have been netcode. Because I didn't crash into anyone on my screen. Like People in chat will tell you. There's a bug with the netcode where it looks like I've... For you in the game, my car's driven into you. It, it especially happens when you... <laughs> it sounds like I'm lying. It sounds like I'm making it up. But there is a bug in the game where the host car position is different to where it actually is. So, I mean, I've seen cars in front of me just explode. But, uh Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you watch the stream, you can, you can rewind back in the stream and you'll see I haven't, I didn't drive into anyone on that race. It's a, it's a bug. Hopefully they fix that with the patch as well. Well done, RWB Speed Demon. Well done, Bedrock. And well done, Shadow. That would explain why the two cars blew up in front of me out of the blue and it looked kind of weird. Um, I'm going to restart the server with a with a password on it. There's a game in the bug. I'm going to make a, a new server. We're going to password it. Host setting. Service called Gamer Muscle Live 01. Password is T. Tango Echo Alpha. Y. There we go. And. Put it on E. That's what it's always T. I want to be a host now. That should be fun. Just ram everyone deliberately and pretend. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. It's capital letters, the password. Oh, the filthy regs are coming on. Let's go for something. I might go for the... 
We've got that Ferrari. The crazy Ferrari's good fun at um, Silverstone. It's a good combo. Kick <laughs> everyone. <laughs> oh dear. Death penalty to everybody. Hooray for filthy regs. Look at them all. Look at his faces. Tom Poe's weird <laughs> suntan face. Alpha GT, snug. Robotunguru! Robotunguru! Welcome! Oh, Kobe Tanium has sponsored the channel. Oh, it's Big Ben lit up again. The bell put back in the tower. The fireworks lit up around it. The crowd go wild. All for Game of Muscle videos. That's why they were all around Big Ben, of course. Literally, 200,000 people come out to London every time we get a sponsor. It's quite generous of them to travel to London for that. But welcome along, Kubi Tanium. Thanks for sponsoring us. Really appreciate it. Don't know where that puts us on the sponsor list. I think we lost some sponsors or that you know they've just died. So I don't know where it puts us on the sponsor number, but thank you so much for sponsoring us. Really appreciate that. I I, I don't know what you're going on about Seagull gameplay. You take the, this, I haven't kicked anybody. You, you need a cup of tea. <laughs> you seem a bit you seem a bit tense. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. Yeah, you need to join a new server, but you you seem a bit tense. Just uh. Have a cup of tea, have a biscuit, it'll all be alright. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're getting Silverstone madness here. Let's start this off. People can join, by the way, whilst it's in quali, in case you're wondering. Yeah, it is capitals, there you go. I have to say that, as I say, these red label Audi tea bags are not bad. And they're not twinings, but they're not bad. Kobe's in chat. Look at that. Look at your little teacup. Look at that Fez Fox. Welshy. Kobe. There's three sponsors in a row there. That was like a sponsor train. Can we get a sponsor train going <laughs> in chat? To type a number and the next number has to be in another sponsor with the next number. There you go, that's your challenge. <laughs> Going to need a lot more than a patch to fix this game. I like it. I, it's not perfect, but you know, none of the sims are perfect. And uh, yeah, I think the biggest thing is there's just game crashing bugs. My wheels, Matt Diff, Diffy, my wheels been broken for months, so I hadn't played any online project cars too, so I, you, having just about survived the last few race starts, I understand. Oh, I get you, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll have a, another service set up so you can join in with a low rating anyway. <laughs> Red Dwarf 74, how many bags for how much? I don't know. I, don't, I think it's like a one pound fifty or something for like a hundred or two hundred. <laughs> we got. They tried. Not the most coordinated. Uh, it, it was like a. It was like a British rail train. But, you know, it tried. It tried. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks. Why are you saying thanks to me? If you, if you use my link, I should be saying thank you to you. You've got it back to front. But that's awesome. 
I don't know how much I get when, when someone buys a rift through um, my Amazon link. I'm not sure how much I get, but it's, it's not terrible. Normally it's a couple of, it's a certain, normally it's like between 1 and 5% for Amazon purchases, but it totally depends on the item and what's going on. But I don't know what it is for the rift. If you if you do Amazon affiliates, clothing's like the best one. You can get like 20% affiliate fees for clothing, which is crazy. There must be like those those people that do uh, makeup channels. They must be raking in the cash on Amazon. Whoa! Is this a flappy paddle car? I'm driving it with a. I know, it's a, it's a sequential, but... I oh, know, is it a H pattern? I didn't check on the screen. Oh, well, I don't matter. Should do a makeup channel. I wouldn't know uh, where to start. I'd, review, I'd happily review uh, skin creams and what have you. Like a no-nonsense makeup channel. But I, I, I wouldn't... Unless I was very drunk, I wouldn't put makeup on. <laughs> it could be a drunk makeup channel. sourcing any good car setups unfortunately this locks up easy this car <laughs> so where he's going seat yourself hey the fiery Dutch guy welcome to the uh, chat room first time I've seen you in it I think hope you're doing all right Best mascara for not running in VR. I, I'm all right with my eye. I, I have. Um, I'm always told by women they're like, "Oh, you got really nice eyelashes and eyebrows, really long, stupidly feminine eyelashes." So, uh, you know, totally useful as a bloke. Makes up for having no hair on the head. All the hair went into the eyelashes. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, DNA. Thank you, genetics. Fantastic. Uh, don't buy one. Controller Man Dan. Oh, I've missed that. Controller Man Dan, do not buy a DK2. Don't buy one, because the support of them is probably going to disappear. Don't. Just don't. <laughs> just don't get one. Save yourself the hassle. Do not get one. Avoid! Avoid! <laughs> don't get one! That's all I can say when it comes to the uh, DK2. Uh, don't, don't do it. Save up extra money and get a CV1. Or just wait. <laughs> just, just don't VR for a bit. Uh, at the moment, it does, it does work with certain things, but I'd just avoid it because there's uh, there's no reason to say that support w could just disappear. I'm mean, uh, oh, it's 40 quid. Um, I don't know. I'd probably just avoid it, but... Yeah, I mean, if 40 quid is a tempting price, if it's fully working. But, you know. <laughs> I'd, if you, I mean, if you, I guess if you're getting it, but with the expectation that it's not going to work very soon, then you could sort of, then you're like, okay. But don't, if you buy it thinking, oh, it's going to last for a while... Then, or, or you sort of buy it expecting it to last for a while, then you're probably going to have a bad time. Ooh. 
here we go. We basically didn't qualify there, so this should be interesting. We're right at the back. Well, we'll just miss all the carnage, of course. Did that on purpose. Ready up, boys! Is the limiting view of the rift similar to a view you would get with a helmet? Uh, no, you get you get much better periphery with a real race helmet compared to a compared to a CV1. Probably like twice. Um, vertical field of view is better with a rift than a real race helmet, but obviously horizontal field of view is more important than vertical field of view. So um, a real world race helmet is literally like it just cuts off this much. <laughs> if that makes sense. Whereas a rift cuts off like that much. So that versus that. <laughs> so you, you get way better visibility from a real helmet horizontally than, uh, than a rift. Vertically, uh, a Vive is like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, a Vive's like this vertically. And the real race helmet's like like this, so <laughs> it's back to front really. We need it the other way around it, and then it would be one to one. Um, maybe I don't know. I don't know because you you should. I think you'll still be able to use Oculus Home with the uh, with an Xbox controller because they they still have that little remote thing is it irritating yeah the rash just won't go away and you get used to it here we go from the back just try not to drive into that guy Get ready for... There we go. <laughs> There's the explosion sound. That we've come across... Oh, here we go. Here we go. We'll just mosey on through casually here. Look at this sun on the track. That looks nice. Guard gadge, I'm afraid there's no... Uh, there's no windscreen wipers on this vehicle for you to show off. Bloody hell. Emergency stop. <laughs> Slam on the brakes. I don't know why I'm leaning. I always feel it makes sense. The young God all joins the track. Really like this car. Stream wrecked. It should be back up. It's probably Virgin having a fanny at me as usual. This car definitely prefers to be um, going at above 100 kilometres per hour, then it's happy. At lower speeds, it starts having a bit, little bit of a breakdown. Virgin's <laughs> always the problem. Thanks for the push, dude! Ah! No, I don't want the automatic clutch. I want to reset the car. There we go. God, why did he absolutely destroy us there? That hurt. Well, at least we can see the wheels. Two legs behind. <laughs> totally and absolutely cannibalised there. Off to the uh, surgery room. He's just cubicled me. 
It's all right, we'll get a race seat in Formula One now. <laughs> We're airborne. Turned us into uh, gamer NASA there. Just entered into the X Prize. I quite like the streamlined look of the car now, though. Great. Um. Hello. I think the um. <laughs> I think the, our internet, my internet's having a breakdown. Hello. <laughs> Hello, guys. The servers died. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to. Uh, we'll call it a day. That I've got to fix my internet because it's everything's not working. So. I will see you guys <laughs> very soon, probably tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Internet's about to go off again. So <laughs> I'll see you until then. Goodbye.